Hi, I'm Steve from Rhino Max Campers and today I'm here to take you through the Lost Track 18.5 Hybrid Tourer. Now our Lost Track range are designed to bridge the gap between hybrid campers and full-size caravans. So you've got all the off-grid technology that comes with our hybrid campers and all the luxuries that you'd expect to find in a full-size um, caravan. Um, but without the full width, quite a bit easier to tow and quite a bit lighter. So we've got 2.1 meters body width on these as opposed to the standard caravan width of 2.5. So exceptionally maneuverable in these tighter off-road tracks. We've got both internal and external cooking facilities in this. Uh, this can be configured to be a couple's model. It can have bunks put in it. It can be configured to be a family bear van. So quite a lot of different things we can actually do to this. It comes standard with a great pack of equipment on it, which we'll take you through as we're going through there. So, you know, you've got a home away from home in these things and you can be very comfortable. There are lots of different options for your battery packs and your solar packs. So you can be off grid for really as long as you want, depending on how you want to travel. So let's get into it and we'll take you through uh, the whole thing. One of the first things you want to do when you get to your campsite is level the actual camper. Now the Lost Track 18 and a half, it comes standard with air suspension so we can level it at the press of a button very very easy we can also do automatic leveling if you so wish but i find that leveling with the press of a button is quite easy and as you can see just drop straight down also with the air suspension you get a full kit for pumping up not only the tires on your camper but also on your car as well so it's it's very very good and gives you a bit of a softer ride when you're actually traveling so that's how easy it is to actually level the actual camper up. Next thing we're going to do is we'll pull out the awning. Uh, this one's got a wind out awning on it, or we can also put the electric awnings on, whatever is your preference. So we'll put that out now. Now, as you can see, the awning is quite big. Um, about six meters by 2.5. So you've got loads and loads of area, entertainment area in this space under here. So you shouldn't be short of shade. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll show you the external kitchen facilities on the uh, Lost Track. Um, and as you'll see from the, from the first generation Lost Tracks, this new generation, we've got all the kitchen facilities underneath the actual awning. So, first of all, we open the cupboard there and the kitchen just basically glides out. Your preparation bench just folds over and then above the top there, we've got two large storage drawers. Again, these are behind your insulated panels so they keep things quite cool put them back in. We've got another large storage utensil drawer here and also um, an area under here for keeping dishcloths, washing up liquids, whatever. Now come standard with a three burner uh, gas stove on the outside. We can also do full electric induction if you so wish um, but gas is still quite popular externally on these things. We do have an induction cooktop inside as well. Now, we've got our sink out here and we also have our flip over tap. So if you want to fill water bottles or kettles, that just flips over and you can actually put a kettle or a water bottle under there to fill it. Also great for washing your hands and such like if you've been on the beach or something like that. Now, with the external kitchen also included as standard, you get an 85 litre chest fridge freezer so dual zone so this can be converted into all fridge all freezer or a combination of both now remembering that internally you also have another 80 litre fridge inside the benefit of the chest ones externally is 
This can keep the bulk of your stuff, so you can keep, you get a lot more in the chest ones than you do in the upright ones. But the upright one inside is great, you know, when you want to nip in for a drink or something like that. So as I say, you've got two cooking zones in these campers, um, and it seems to work very, very well. So that's it, your external kitchen on here. Okay, I want to show you the front end layout now, the front box and the drawer bar. So we'll go through the front box first. So the front box here, this is made of aluminium, very, very lightweight. Um, you can't really do a lot of damage to this, stones don't affect it or anything else. Uh, we've got uh, like a rubberized rhino coating on here, um, so stones tend to bounce off of that. If you did get a stone chip on it, it would easily, uh, you know, touch in. Um, but you can get things like stone stomper and everything else which uh, goes to add another level of protection onto that if you so wish. Now, functionality wise, this main part of the box is a complete tunnel boot through boot. So it's got a door on either side and you can use that for a number of uses. I'm going to show you one of the uses here. So the doors are quite big and accessible. They open right round as you can see here. And then I've got total access into the box there quite big access there as well now this particular van here also has a barbecue slide in so you can put a weather barbecue or whatever on here um, and there is on this setup here we've got a, a gas extra gas bayonet at the front plug the gas bayonet in there and then you've enhanced your kitchen so not only have you got your stove but you've got your weather barbecue if you like a bit of barbecue in there as well that all can go back in I'll close that door up that's all housed away from your main area as well so you're cooking and everything else is out there now if we step around here inside here there's a storage compartment where down in here you can store your anti-flap kit bars for the awning you can store fishing rods temp poles you know anything like that the long items they go in there we utilize this area as a storage area because normally that would just be wasted because the shape of this is to deflect stones onto the ground rather than through the rear windows of your actual car. So we thought, you know what? One of our policies is to utilize as much space as we can. So we created a storage area in there for you. You've now also got double jerry cans either side at the front and then a lockable storage uh, box for your gas there. You only need two four kilo gas bottles in there. You don't need big nine kilos because everything about the camper is energy efficient. So you won't need the big bottles. This is all about lightweight. You want to travel light. That's what the name of the game is with a hybrid camper. So that there is your front box. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at the actual, you know, the, the toe inside and the draw bar. So, You'll also notice that because the front end's back here, there's a great turning circle. You know, you get, you get a huge turning circle here, it doesn't affect your actual back of your car. If you've got a tray back ute, it's, it's great as well, because you can get a decent, a decent turning circle on that. Now, in the draw bar, we've got the DO35 uh, 360 degree hitch. Now, you'll notice that it's sunken lower than the actual draw bar. What that allows us to do is, so if you've got, I've got the cruiser on today, so I can actually drop the tailgate down. So if you have a Prado, you can open the Prado doors. If you've got a cruiser, you can drop the tailgate. If you've got a ute, you can drop the tailgate. So it gives you access to your tow vehicle, even though you're not actually unhitched. Again, just another good feature. We've got Anderson plug there. So if you've got Anderson connected to your car, so your car will actually charge the camper as it's going. You've got your trailer plug set up in there. Your brake controllers are in there. Um, and this one's also got the remote connection point for, for the um, external uh, solar panels in there as well. So on the power system, we can connect an extra blanket in there or solar panels and, uh, you know, give you extra capacity into the actual camper. So again, front end of the camper, great turning circle good storage front box there very very lightweight and easily accessible compartments on it oh and let's not forget this cargo basket on the top 
great for carrying dirty tops, wood, anything like that. There are also availability of bicycle racks and all sorts of other stuff that we can put on there as well. Lots and lots of options. Okay, as I was saying, you've got all that storage space we've just gone through, but then in here, there's a huge amount of storage space. So this, as you can see, was just one massive compartment. Also inside this cabinet here is an access point for your hot water system. So just in here, we've got a nice large wide door that's got your compressor for your air tank in there. You've got your diesel hot water system, your water pump. So as you can see, very easy to access if you ever need to get in there and do anything. Um, I'll just run you down what else is on the side here. So we've got another vent with fans in there for the heater. We've got a 240 power inlet here, um, twin water tanks uh, at the rear here, and a water pressure reducer here. So you can actually plug into uh, campsite or mains water and that will reduce the pressure to a safe level for the camper. Now also here, we've got the external uh, water draw facility. So if I plug a hose into here, I can run it into a creek, a river, a stream, a bucket, a jerry crown, and then I can draw the water out of that. It will go up through the camper and directly in through the hot water system or to the, the sinks. Now that doesn't go into your water tanks. It bypasses the tanks, therefore eliminating the chance of any contamination within the tanks. You know, so a really good facility if you're running short of water and you're off the grid. This is all about extending your stays off the grid and utilizing your own power systems. So that's basically this side of the actual camper. On the rear of the camper, you can see we've got quad lights on each corner. So that's great for visibility, especially at night or in dusty conditions. Uh, there's a reverse camera up there as well. We've also got a security light at the back. Now that comes as standard, but we can fit the security lights to wherever, depending on what your actual needs are. Now, just a quick mention about the chassis, as you can see from here, like all of our campers, we run on hot dip galvanized chassis. They're full length chassis, meaning the big rail runs right from the front, right the way through to the back. And then we've got an integrated subframe that fits within that. What that does is for us, it keeps the weight down, but it means the chassis is very, very strong. Your cruise master suspension, then it hangs off the chassis just in the middle there. Um, as I say, this one uh, comes standard with air suspension, uh, with its tandem axle and it's got twin shock absorbers on the back there. All your tanks, your water tanks and everything else are tucked up neatly in between the chassis rails, therefore less chance of getting any damage through stones or anything like that. So as I say, these things are built to go off road and we suffer very, very little from any damages underneath. Really, really strong campers. Another feature worth pointing out is the Rhinomax's dustproof doors that we make in house. Now, what we found is through our life of manufacturing campers within Australia is, like most manufacturers, we used to buy the pre-made RV doors from the, from the caravan industry. That has to be said was probably our weakest part of our campers. Um, and, you know, we felt that they just weren't really up to the job for in an off-road situation and corrugations and things like that. So we ended up designing our own doors um, and this is it. So it's kind of designed like a submarine door. So it sits into a slot and then it has locks top and bottom and a center lock as well. So once those locks are locked, that is 100% dustproof. We've got a full nylon hinge up this side, which means it also pulls in nice and even. So we don't need any so-called positive pressure vents or positive pressure systems in. What you'll find with this camper is it is 100% dustproof. So I'm just gonna open that, that door there. And it, again, the quality of the actual locks and everything is second to none. Now, the other thing is, this panel that we make here is the same material as, as the walls. So 
you've got a fully insulated door so say for instance in the summer when you're trying to keep cool or the winter when you're trying to keep warm you can actually close that door and the inside temperature will be either cooler or warmer with it closed you know we do various options of fly screens and everything for it as well it has a window with a fly screen and that in it as well they have proved to be very very robust good doors so you know another great feature of Rhinomax campus what we'll do now is we'll take it inside and let you have a look at the internals so here we are inside the new lost track and we've given it a complete revamp layout and made quite a few improvements on the original model now the original model had a great layout this one's got an exceptional layout i think we'll first take you through the seating area so the seating area which has been designed by uh, our upholsterer who is a classic car uh, upholsterer which kind of shows through in what we've done here i think um, you know we've got a nice great bench seat here and it's really luxurious and comfortable to sit in this is all uh, good you know good full quality full grain leather um, and we've done an option of these seat pads as well here so the bolsters now the bolsters you know we've made them so they can be you know you can just remove them out of the way you know you can put them like that you can sort of um, if I go here I can put one against the wall so say for instance I want to lounge on the seat I can just lounge on it you know if for instance let's say I have someone else staying with me so I've got the two beds there and I want to create another bed here this seat will also it'll also slide out so now as you can see I've got you know I'm quite tall and I can lie on there so I've got another bed within the actual camper you know so push that back in so what you'll find is with the seats is they're quite a bit bigger and more luxurious than what you find in a normal caravan but really really comfortable now we also have a table set up that goes on here as well I just wanted to show you that the whole seat thing before we brought the table in so what we'll do now is we'll get the table in and then we'll show you that on here one of the challenges with a narrow camper as opposed to a full width caravan um, is how you do the internal layouts now the narrowness of the actual camper is absolutely spectacular for towing and everything else that we've said about that now internal wise when we come to design the layouts in here we had to think very cleverly on what would work and what wouldn't now we've showed you the lounge already now this is the lounge with the table in it now just let me show you our thought pattern behind this table so now two people can quite easily sit one either side of the table we've still got the table in there we can both watch the tv we've got access to the kitchen access to the shower i've still got quite a bit of room to walk through here the table if we want to eat at the table as well so i can actually pull that table around and you know so we both could be sitting here eating at it so it can act like a dining table as well i can also if i want more room at the sort of kitchen area i can push it completely out of the way you know and now i've got full access within the actual uh, passageway here the table can it can heighten it can lower it can come off it's very very easy and versatile so i think you'll agree for for, for the layout we've got in here that is a real great sort of setup for the actual table once you remember how to put it back of course so that's it that's the table okay as we said earlier the lost track also comes with a complete internal kitchen as well as the external cooking facilities so i'll run you through that now so on this part of the kitchen here we've got a glass top uh, lidded sink so you've got a full sink and drainer with a glass top lid on it so you can drop the lid down if you want to still have uh, you know more bench space you've got a mixer tap in the corner there we've got a twin induction cooktop here on the bench as well and a reasonable amount of bench space then we've got a microwave oven just sits just below there so nice plate position for that then you've got an array of cabinets and cupboards with shelves in them for whatever you want to put in them there's no shortage of actual cupboard space within the lost track 
and then you've also got some drawers up here you know a couple of drawers at the top great for your cutlery that kind of thing and then hidden away in here which was a request by one of our customers could we make a cabinet to fit a waste bin so you know we've got a cabinet in here and you can fit the optional waste bins in there as well which you know have gone down a storm seem to be very very popular so on this part of the bench that's all there now above that we've also got an array of upper lockers above the top there and as you can see you know they've got the stainless rods through them so when you're traveling you shouldn't have any uh, trouble with things falling out or that kind of thing you've got a set of upper lockers on both sides so again you've got a reasonable amount of storage up there um, 240 power points on the back um, this camper's fully automatic everything's electronically controlled so that's all in with the rhino max um, digital switching system and you can get find more about that on our website there's a whole video about that um, at the rear of the camper so we've got a large drawer at the top and we've got a set of twin cabinets at the bottom um, these can be shelved out for whatever you actually want to do with them uh, we can also do drawer units in there and then we've got the internal uh, 85 litre fridge here or an 81 litre fridge I should say so as you can see this is an upright fridge remembering that you've got your chest fridge freezer outside for storing your backup bulk stuff and this is a great fridge for everyday items uh, as well um, we can also do full full height internal fridges if you so wish as well like I say this van can be configured in a number of configurations I've got a set of cabinets across the back which really can be multi-purpose so this one's just empty it can have a shelf in it or whatever standard comes with that or what's quite a popular option now is is your washing machine so unlike a lot of manufacturers that just stick the washing machine on a wall we thought it'd be quite nice if we made the cabinet modules to fit the washing machine and then not only have you got your washing machine tucked away out of sight but you've also got space for your washing up liquids or anything that you want to carry within there you know and all your power points are hidden away and when you close that i don't know we just feel it's a bit neater and tidier than what the standard sort of an array is and then at the back here we've got our internal um, shower and toilets so or internal ensuite now this has got a full-size shower tray in it and it comes standard with a composting toilet so if i just open that you can have a look in there and there's quite a lot of room in there i'll just actually jump in to show you so as you can see i'm quite tall by the way so i've got quite he quite a lot of headroom um, i've got lots of space you know for the shower I've got a couple of cabinets up the back here as well so there's space to put your shampoos and that sort of stuff up there and we've got a, a two-part shower holder on the back so I can take that out and put it up up above as well so depending on how, you know how tall you are you can have that wherever you want it you know uh, aluminium shower trays so there's no plastic yeah, shower trays in here so no cracking no discoloring very very robust and nature's head composting toilet which we we think's the best composting toilet that's on the market at this present moment in time so again that will also keep you off grid for quite a bit longer than your standard cassette toilets uh, you know and that kind of thing so once again that kind of shows you this half of the actual camper and then we'll have a look at the front half where the queen bed is and all your cabinetry and your storage areas up there we'll look at that now at the front end of the camper we've got our bedroom area so as you can see it's very very nice light airy and bright so we've got a full queen size mattress in there this is a household queen as well so it's not a caravan queen it's a full queen size mattress we've got storage lockers up either side of the bed three storage lockers with lids on and then at the top of the bed on the bed head we've got um you know a couple of compartments up there which have 12 volt sockets in there and charge ports for your phones you've also got uh, reading lights up the top there we've got the uh, speakers there for the stereo above the bed and another set of lights above that um, 
under bed storage drawers more storage as well there so as you can see inside the camper there's a huge amount of storage some of the other nice features about the camper that we've included are there's lots of windows in this camper and they're all quite big so it makes it nice and bright and airy we've also got a nice skylight there so this skylight's electronically operated as well so you just at the push of a button it will open um, lets a great breeze in if you've got um, a lot of sun you can put the blind there or we've got a fly screen there as well if there's any midges about so again another great feature there on the actual roof um, it comes with a digital TV now the TV it can swing around so you can watch it from the um, seating area or you can just turn it around and watch it from the bedroom area now all as standard on this camper as well it comes with a great electronic setup so it's all powered by lithium so it's got big inverters in it's got great power system within that and it comes standard with a rooftop aircon so again there's no excuse in the summer for being too hot you know it's all there at the touch of a button we've got remote control on it and they're a nice small unit there very very quiet and with the camper being fully insulated with the body panels there it means that the aircon doesn't need to overwork itself to keep the camper cool so again when it comes to the actual energy or the batteries that you use to keep your camper cool it uses a lot less power than would be used in a standard caravan so that's about it for the internals on the lost track i think you'll agree it's a great looking camper and honestly really really comfortable okay so that's a wrap up of our second generation lost track 18.5 hybrid tourer uh, and i think you'll agree it's a great camper now if you think it looks good on video or you know you want to see these things in the flesh why not make a booking at a, for an appointment at our factory showroom to see one in person they really are worth traveling to see we can give you the full experience at the factory show you how they're built and take you right through and show you what our capabilities are and why we're the number one hybrid manufacturers within Australia.